What is up YouTube gods and goddesses? It is your boy Mike from Duck Walk Professional and we're here for a special vlog today. I was inspired by the boy Tucker Upper showing us uh, his family advent ceremony and I'm going to show you guys something the Mop God does not necessarily with his family but for his family and for the boys in the neighborhood. You. What are you doing with them snowflakes, huh? Are you you're too Tigger, you're too noisy for the dream, man. It just started snowing, and I figured you know you need to listen to the universe when you want to do something so I'm gonna do this uh, little shoot right here while it's snowing for the boys out there show them what I do um, with my lighting right now I got nothing up here and I am going to string it with the LED light and I got the wreath right there to put in front Come on, Tigger, you're gonna have to go inside because you can't be nice. Come on. Oh, oh motherfucker. So much for that one. Okay, to clarify myself why I call this setting up the Christmas lights a religious ceremony, pretty much. Not religious, but a more spiritual cer ceremony. It's snowing out here. And I do this for the smile on my nephew's face. Hopefully I'm going to get that uh, get that on film when he comes to see it. And plus it's snowing for the first time this year in 2017. Do this as sort of like a sacrifice for my family. My fucking toes are freezing. You think I want to be out here when it's snowing and putting this shit up? No, but I'm doing it for the little boy and the smile on everybody's face. So that's part of my... Um, ceremony for the holiday season and what I do to show the people I love them that I'm thinking about them. I got everything put together. I got everything strapped up. Now I just got to get the uh, right cords to plug everything in so that it's all on the one timer box so that when the lights go out at night it flips the lights on so nobody has to turn anything on or do any of that stuff. It's on a light timer and then I got it set that I think it goes off at like 10 o'clock or something or 12 o'clock something like that maybe two o'clock in the morning depending on what time my dad gets home for work but uh we got the dream going on right here today <laughs> on to the next part you you stay you crazy demon Show you guys what I got going on out here. I set these things up on the doorway things, and I got my lights going on out here. Have my wreath out here, um, and then this is the box I was talking about with the light. And I'll show you guys if you put your finger over the sensor right here. should make um, the lights click on and there they go see and now they're all on there for a 
couple minutes until the light sensor goes off because it's too light out here right now. But uh, I'll show you guys the finished the finished product uh, when I'm done of my holiday light up um, celebration for the boy, my nephew boy, and all the other boys. You. Just got done my crucifixion, getting all the lights up. My fucking feet are frozen. I'm so thankful right now to have a garage that we have this fucking, that heater in that we can heat this place up. Um, I found the gnarly uh, spider web up here for the dream. Go on. You can tell uh, how long it's been since I've had a uh, company over here using them fucking chairs. So I'm going to show you guys, um, you know, what I got going on here. And um, i show you all these. This is my box that I have. This one and this box. And I still have another roll of LED lights. Now, I don't think these go at my grandmoms. I'm pretty sure I left all the stuff at my grandmoms there. And these are like all the fittings. Like there's a bunch of different connectors. Like that be like this place. Two ends together. Then there's power end cords and end caps and stuff. So that's pretty much my bag for all my fittings for the LED lights. And everything's empty. That's another timer. Okay. Got an old mo motorcycle helmet. My hedge trimmers. My big saw. That's keep life. This is keep life. Somebody threw that out. My fishing poles. These are keep life. This is the sole of the boot that I wore when I did my first full burn. I'm going to do a piece of art with this. I still have like the dirt that's in there from that day. I'm going to do something with that. I'm not sure what. Uh, probably splatter it with paint. But then I got this other piece back here that I want to do something with. And then this piece of circular board I'm going to do something with. So this is like where I put some stuff that I'm going to do art projects with that I haven't gotten the time to fuck with yet. I put them in that corner over there until I get a chance, you know, to live the dream. And then here's something that I did right here from Tucker. It was a, he gave me this, this iron to cook. It's like a cooking iron, but I wanted it to do art with. And I did this little wave on there with some sparkles and shit. And I figured when you turn it over, it's like kind of a wave that way. And then you got the waves around the side so basically with these LED lights um, a couple years ago we decided to get some new Christmas lights and, and I want to go with the LEDs instead of something like like what my neighbor has over there like the classic Christmas light because we had like these ones but you can see like there's some spots like right there where they've gone out and right there where they're out but when you look at it from the street and this sand is out gotta finish my basketball court
so you guys can see how like bright this LED lighting is. I fucking love it compared to like that. I mean, this shit is fucking bright. Light up the whole neighborhood. Like that's the classic style there. You can tell the difference in the light on the camera. And this LED light, it eats up like half as much energy. So that's like another like cool part that I like about the LED light. And they're very easy to work with. I just wrap it right back up on its cord. There's my old school light on my bushes. I got my these white lights on my azaleas. And then on my evergreens, I got uh, the blue and the red. And we'll take a check, uh, a look at what we got going on over here. What I do is I run the power down from up there, since we live in a duplex here, and then I run the cord to the power box right there, which is just like the one that's in the back. Um, when the light goes on, it turns on, and when the light goes off, it turns off. We're still living the dream here, and I gotta finish my basketball court. And I'm thinking maybe doing something around the art this year. I'm, we'll see. That might be a uh, plan for the future. Who knows? Alright, Mop God Mike out for now.